What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we're looking at an extremely tiny micro action cam. This is the Firefly by Hawkeye. Now they're saying that it shoots 1080 at 30 frames per second, which sounds really good, but for something so small and something I've never heard of, I have my doubts, but we'll find out. Now they're saying that it has a great image stabilizer for super defined videos and images. It's supposed to be very easy to operate, even though it doesn't have a display screen. So it has loop recording, which means that it records in 15 minute increments and when the card is full, it will start over at the beginning and start rewriting over the originals. It does take a SD card or TF card. The max is 32 gigs, so not very big. Now, it only has a 230 milliamp hour battery in it, which is to be expected. It's supposed to be pretty tiny. That's only going to get you about an hour of use. It does have a standby time of an hour and a half, and it takes about two and a half hours to fully charge. Plus, on top of that, apparently, you can install this on a drone. So, if you have a little drone, you need uh, you need a camera. This could be the way to go, but let's... Uh, the box is a little messed up, but uh, yeah, let's just check it out. Instructions. Oh my goodness, that is that it? That is so tiny. Oh, I like the little stand that it comes on though. Can this come out? It can. Oh my goodness. That is super tiny. Wow. Okay, cool. Firefly right on the side. You've got two buttons. You've got a power and a mode. Um, it's supposed to be extremely easy, but uh, anyway, you got your SD card slot here, and I have a little 2 gig that I brought. Then you got your USB port for charging, and there's the lens, and that's the whole thing. Very tiny. Very, very tiny. Okay, cool. So typical looking GoPro stand. So that goes on the bottom here, and then you can mount this on this. And then you take this, oh yeah, it's got a little sticky pad on it. You lock that down, bam, just like that. And then you just take the camera and you slap it in here like so. There you go, bam. Then we got a cable, USB to USB or video. Okay, cool, well, uh, well, let's turn it on and see what happens. I'm guessing that means it's on. Let's go outside and try it out. Let's go see what Mocha's doing. Okay, so I think it's recording. Um, the light's flashing, so I'm hoping it is. But let's see. How do you look, Mocha? You got eye boogers. Hold on. You got eye boogers. Next time, take a visit to your dressing room before getting on set, okay? All right? Okay. You want to do the same trick we always do? Okay, go over there. No, 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 go. Sit. Oh, okay, you, yeah, she's ready. Lay down. <laughs> she's like, I am. Roll over. Good girl. Yeah. All right, well, here's the sky. I hope it's recording. Sorry about Mocha. She sometimes she can be very unprofessional. I told her to prepare for the shoot. She didn't. She had the eye boogers anyway. You got eye boogers. You need to freshen up uh, for, your, for your. It's very, very, very grainy. I mean, the image is okay. It's a little. It's it's grainy. Now keep in mind this little tiny thing. It's only twenty bucks. So what you're really getting out of this is a very, very tiny little baby camera. Without the stand, this could go anywhere, really. In the case of like maybe like a spy camera or something like that, there's no flashing light on the front of it. So if you wanted to use it for that purpose, but uh, yeah, overall, it's not bad. It's worth 20 bucks, I would say that. If it was like anything more than 20 bucks, then I'd definitely shut it down. But for 20 bucks, it's not bad. Anyway, guys, that is it. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below as usual. You guys know what to do. Go check it out for yourself. I leave it in your hands, but as for now, get out of here.